Hip-hop is 1987.com. Just, uh, I mean, he continues to impress. He, he just, uh, he's, he's, he's doing it in every single, every possible way in the offensive end. He's hitting threes. He's, uh, he's getting himself to the free throw line, obviously, as well as any player in the league. Uh, just his attack game. Uh, you know, they threw a couple switches at him, and uh, Jimmy backed out and gave him space, and, and he just, uh, he just went to work. Uh, you know, he's making the right play as well. He's just, you know, he's, he's taking what the defense gives him. He's not forcing, uh, forcing the issue. Uh, he's just uh, he's, he's on a really uh, really uh, great stretch right now. It's fun to watch him. Fred, what's your biggest takeaway from this trip going to be? Uh, I, I think uh, you know the way we handled the adversity. And I thought uh, you know the, the resiliency our guys showed after a couple of tough losses to bounce back with uh, with good performances. Uh, you know the, the togetherness that the, that our guys displayed uh, on the road. You know when you're on the road you know, for 12 days, you come out either loving each other or hating each other. And I think our guys grew and they got closer. Uh, you know they, they spent a lot of time together. You know we've now played more road games than any team in the league. And uh, you know now we got to go back home and come out and play with that same type of urgency, uh, same type of effort, uh, and continue to, uh, to hopefully go out and play well and give ourselves a chance on a nightly basis. When you see a team finish a home game, a road trip, with a complete effort, wire to wire, how does it make you feel? Yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great uh, sign, I, I would say, uh, you know, for a team com coming off a 12-day road trip, especially traveling two time zones. I know I, could, I didn't get to bed till three or four, you know, the last two days, and I, I tried to go to bed at 10. I mean, it just, you know, you're so wiped out and fatigued. Everybody's ready to get home in their own beds and see their families. Uh, you know, so to come out with this type of effort, I thought, I thought was terrific. Uh, you know, just uh, again, it's, it's a fun team to be around just because of the togetherness. I thought our focus and shoot around was absolutely out the charts this morning. I, I knew we'd come out and play with effort uh, based on our shoot around this morning. Fred, you said you're, I think you kind of indicated you're looking forward to getting a chance to practice uh, in the next few days. What do you want to see this team accomplish? After what it's done in the game, you well, know, the game I, to get I, to this point. Yeah, I think the big thing is just continue to make progress. You know, this gives us an opportunity now to put in some new actions. You know, we've been trying to add things on the fly. Uh, you know, now we can go back and work on our execution uh, in our offense. Uh, you know, defensively. Uh, you know, we want to continue to make strides. I, I thought tonight was a good sign. I, I thought we followed the game plan. 
uh, for the most part, very well. Uh, you know, so just an opportunity to refine some things and add some things to our package. Uh, and again, hopefully continue to get better uh, with our guys. You mentioned uh, Raj, is, is he, is he uh, making the calls and making the right reads and playing with the instinct that you want in your point guard? He, he really is, yeah. He, and, and again, when, when, uh, when we get the ball uh, off the rim uh, on a missed shot, you know, we want to flow and we want pace. And uh, you can hear him out there, run with me, run with me. So he's, he's talking to the guys about getting out with pace, and they're doing a good job uh, of getting out. But when we, we can get uh, something accomplished before the defense gets set, uh, generally good things happen. Are you, you you mentioned when you first got here how much film you and he watched together. Have, have you kind of continued that process during the season, or is there less time for that? Or what, what's, what's your guys' film relationship like? Yeah, there, there's less time. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll watch it, uh, edit here and there, uh, you know, but Again, this will give us an opportunity again these next few days, uh, you know, to catch our breath a little bit and uh, uh, you know to, to have have some film sessions uh, with our guys, show them the good, uh, the bad. You know, I, I thought our transition defensive transition took a step in the wrong direction. Uh, our last couple games, uh, we we're better uh, tonight. Still, still need work on it. And it's a good opportunity to show our guys some film uh, and get better because we're going to play some pretty high scoring teams here coming up. So we need to win every game, and that's what you want. You know, obviously, um, you know, we're still a team that's building, so you know, a couple of those games, I'm sure, um, with more experience, we could have pulled out at least one of them, but um, we played very well. And you know, when you go on a road trip with a six-game road trip, you say, when we come back 500, we've had a successful one. You come back for a trip, you had a, for a two, you had a very successful one. So um, we finished it off right tonight. You know, a team that was supposed to take care of business um, with their best player out and the last game of the trip, um, we did that. So I'm proud of this team. When you I see it in the third quarter, the whole game, but especially the third quarter, there's a lot to like tonight. Yeah, it was a lot to like. Um, you know, just you know, doing our, doing what we do. And um, you know, tonight you know, we made some shots. You know, defensively, we got out there a little bit and kind of put the game away um, early. You know. You don't want the team to stick around and get them confident. So, like I said, we're going to take care of our possibilities. When you see a team close it out like you guys did, last game of a road trip and play so well and lead wire to wire for a young group, you've seen this team. How how nice is this you see this team do this? Well, just, you know, doing what we're supposed to do tonight. You know, you know like I said, you know, Philly had their best player out. And, um, you know, it's the last game of the trip. You know, we came out. We wanted to come out with a lot of energy to start the game. And that's what we did, set the tone. And just carried it throughout. And, uh, you know, this is a team that you know, right here is growing, and this was a good step in understanding how to take care of business um, against a team that shouldn't be able to beat you uh, in the last you know game of a road trip. So, um, you know, right steps in the right direction for us. Is uh, Jared Bayless going to regret something he said to you in the first uh, Is Jared Bayless going to regret something he said to you uh, in the first Philly Benter. Philly Benter, man. Uh, Good so nature? I, yeah, I like it. I mean, you know, cool. it was cool with me, um, you know, to be able to talk a little bit. But, you know, I, I was able to shoot a little more to him. So, uh, I kind of got it going, but uh, this is Philly Benter. Dwayne, like you said, this is a developing game. This trip in itself, six minutes stretch. Tell you anything about what you guys can't account for. What potential is well, I think the one thing is when you, when you have a new team together, um, once you get to that point where you realize you're a good team, you know, you, then you become a good team. And I think on this trip, um, with the way we perform, I think you know, we started to understand that we're a good team and we can play with anyone in any, any building. And uh, that's key uh, for a team, especially a young team like us trying to come together. So once you have that confidence that you can go in anywhere uh, and win and be able to win, then um, that goes a long way. So it's early in the season still, and we know we got a long way to go. But, you know, to be, you know, right now with 16 games in and we play 11 on the road, um, not a bad start. Thanks, Wayne. Four two trip, obviously two losses, both of them. Could have been in it. You 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 could have
on tape will probably be taken care of. What, what does tonight say about the team's focus and preparedness? We, we did our job. I mean, you can't overlook anybody in this league. We had a lot of young, talented guys who, who play incredibly hard. So we came here, we won on the road. That's what we talked about. That's what we talked about. Jimmy, as, as the weeks go on, what's Dwayne Wade? How's that helping you help as, as the weeks go on? He, he helps everybody, not, not just me. Uh, and the fact that he's always giving everybody confidence, telling people where they're supposed to be, what they're supposed to be doing. Um, that's just because he, he knows what it takes to win. He's done it um, over his whole career, even before his NBA career. He's born. So he, he knows what it takes and what guys have to be doing in order for the team to win. So are you sort of noticing a few extra spots open up or parts of the game where you get more, more room because he's out there? Who, for me? Yeah, yeah. For you. Oh, man, he does that for everybody. You can't just focus in on me. Um, I think everybody gets a lot of open shots because he's finding them or because he's out there somebody else is open. You've got to double team him when you have the ball. Jimmy, when you guys get four wins on this trip, how much of a confidence jolt is it heading into the next couple weeks here? Uh, of course it gives us confidence, but... Um, you know, we don't think about it, but I don't see why we couldn't have went six and zero on this trip. You know, we're supposed to do what we're supposed to be doing. But I think we're all fine with four and two. We'll take it. Um, now, you know, we gotta go home and, and win some more games. This trip is over. With. Jimmy, you've been around long enough to have seen stretches like this. Not a West Coast trip, but you've had stretches where the team seems like things are coming together. Uh, is any indicators that this team at this time is any different, or any better? Is this that, that the stretcher that you can parlay this into something bigger? I don't know if any team is any better than any other team. I just know that the team that we have right now is really good. Uh, I don't like comparing players. I don't like comparing teams. I just like doing what we do, focusing in on us, because it's, it's for the right now. What we're doing right now is just good enough to win games. We'll still be better, but uh, we'll take wins when we can get them. It was a comfortable lead you know, going into that second quarter, and um, we just weren't able to overcome that. And they kind of just piggybacked off that in the second half, and we just dug ourselves into a bigger hole. It seemed like we didn't make a run and just trying to find something. At the point, you're just trying to find anything that works, or what do you do in those situations? <laughs> In a game like this, that second half, you just try to go out and play hard. There's like nothing else. Once you're down by 25, you know, it's tough. It's really tough to get back in the game. So our, our mindset was just go out there and play hard. Nick, do you feel like when guys wait for Butler, Rondo, just the experience that they bring as a young team like this? Yeah, it's more of a confidence than anything. Like you could see D Wade, just his confidence out there, especially in that second half. Like you know, he just felt like he could hit anything. And, um, you know, all those guys, offensively and defensively, like you said, that experience is going to help them, obviously. So uh, we just got to be better. They were at the end of a six-game trip too. Did they seem a little bit motivated just to end yeah. it on the right now? They, they seemed great today. They were um, yeah, they were defending great. They were running. Um, they're executing their offense well. Guys were hitting shots, so um, for them, they they're looking like a solid team this year. Their, their experience, their all-star caliber talent, it just seemed like it all came together for them. Yeah. It did. You know, they uh, they beat us pretty good tonight. It was a tough one, but you know we were back to back coming up, so we got to forget about this one. We'll take a look at film tomorrow to forget about it and move on. How was this for you transitioning into the starting lineup tonight? It was fine. Uh, it's a good team. Like I said, it's going to take time to get comfortable, and uh, it'll be okay. We'll all be, you know, the sun will come up tomorrow, and uh, we'll get back to work. What was it about the play tonight in terms of the fast start and their ability to kind of stay with us tonight? What was, what was the key? Sorry, what was the key for them in terms of how they came out and how they stay with us? They're a veteran team. They know what to do. You know, uh, they've guys that's been in the league, and they're really good. So you know, they they know how to play, and uh, they took advantage of us tonight. Do you feel yourself growing more comfortable within like the structure of the offense with a few games under your belt at this point? I just getting there. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time, but uh, it'll get there. Um, I think over, you know, the next couple games, hopefully, it'll get to a point where I'm really comfortable. But it's still, you know, a new thing. What has to happen for you to feel more comfortable? I don't. I don't know if there's anything in particular that has to happen, but it's just time and uh, playing. Um, Hip Hop's is 1987.com.